Hey everyone! Hey everyone, it's Ality here and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you a Cave Spider XP farm. And this is not just an ordinary Cave Spider XP farm, of course. This is a one-hit Cave Spider XP farm. For many many years, no one actually has done a Cave Spider XP farm where you one-hit Cave Spider. So today, I present you this wonderful redstone project. So we gather a lot of Cave Spiders here. And if I press this button, the lava will get dispensed, then the water will get dispensed right after. So now they are one hit kill. As you can see. Ow. So why do you want to build a cave spider XP farm? First of all, they are more frequent to spawn than the skeleton spawner, than the zombie spawner or any other spawner out there. And second, you are more likely to spot two cave spider close to each other sometimes three and in rare occasions four you can get four cave spider spawners close at each other so i'm gonna tour you around the farm this is where the cave spider spawner at and we've got this water system here to channel our cave spider spawner all towards the kidney chamber now whenever the cave spider spawns here it will go to the water and into the middle in this trench here then it will go here then here when the cave spider reach here, it will go up because of this chain. So if the water pushes me, it will automatically push me up. Can you see that? It, it pushes me up automatically without actually having to jump. Now why do you want a chain instead of a slab? It's because of its height. Cave spiders are 0.5 blocks high and if you can if you spawn a stop so cave spiders is actually 0 0.5 blocks high so sometimes they get stuck on this slab over here that's why we need a chain instead of a slab so whenever the cave spider gets pushed up it will float up all the way here and here in the killing chamber and if you're in survival mode um the the cave spiders will actually lunge at you let's wait for a cave spider so here this is the cave spider and that cave spider will try to launch at me and it will automatically climb up to this spot here. And that's good because we want the cave spider on this spot so that we can damage them with lava and dispense a water at them right away so that they are one hit. So I'm gonna explain you the reason behind this. So whenever I press this button, the node block will get powered and the observer will detect that and it will give a redstone signal to this redstone line powering these dispensers, dispensing the lava to the cave spiders and the cave spiders will take damage but when this button gets unpressed like this we're gonna press it right then it will get unpressed <laughs> so that is the definition of my unpressed so when this button gets unpressed um, the node block is not powered anymore and the observer will detect that then it will give a redstone signal to this redstone line and it will power this it will power this dispenser um undispensing or pulling back the lava from the spiders now while everything is happening over there there will be a redstone dust here powering this block and will power this redstone repeaters then this torch over here will turn off and it won't do anything but when this redstone dust gets unpowered, um, all of this will get unpowered, then the torch here will turn on. Meaning this dropper over here will get activated, transferring this item towards this hopper over here. And this comparator will detect the item over here. Then this, uh, what do you call this? Observer will detect the comparator detecting the item over here. Then the observer will get... I mean, we'll give a power here in this redstone line here and it will power this dispenser and dispensing its water bucket. But right after that happening, the hopper will send the item back to the dropper. Then this comparator will not detect the item here anymore. Meaning, the observer will detect that the comparator did not detect the item over here anymore. Then it will send a redstone signal to this redstone line over here, powering this dispenser and dispensing the water and yeah and that's how we get this lava water setup here Bloop. so now we are here in another world where 
we found a cave spider so i'm gonna clear this area up so that i can teach you guys how to build the farm while i was clearing eventually there's another cave spider spawner and this is what i'm talking about uh, we got two cave spiders in range within each other but in this tutorial i'm just gonna use one because it will be you know confusing to build two at the same time so yeah we're gonna break this say bye bye to it now if you're wondering what is the seed there it is so you're gonna clear a nine by nine by five space where the cave spider is in the middle now you're gonna go towards the cave spider and dig below it then you're gonna build i mean make a trench like so then you're gonna count one two three and dig another trench like this then you're gonna dig this part here then this part here then this part here after digging that you're gonna mark this next is you need to face the trench and go up to this cave spider spawner now you're gonna remove four blocks one one two three four then you're gonna go up one two three and four four and you're gonna count one two three four five six seven and this is where you're gonna drop i mean this is where the cave spider will go up to your killing chamber so you're gonna dig down like so and there you go now you want to remove this these blocks here then you're gonna get yourself a fence gate then you're gonna place your fence gates like this then put blocks like this then you're gonna put a water here water here in every corner like so then you're gonna remove these blocks then you're gonna grab yourself a sign where is the sign there you go now you're gonna grab yourself a sign and put the signs here then put the chains here there you go now you're gonna place water here then water here and here and here and everywhere so remember that i count one two three and four right just remember that and replicate something like this where the water will be right over here above here okay just look at this just replicate this in your world and you'll be fine then after that you gotta put a chest right here then hoppers going like this then you gotta put a cobblestone wall chains then you're gonna put water here here right over here and here then you're gonna put a cobblestone wall there to prevent cave spiders from going there then what i want you to do is to um, put blocks like this so that the water can flow over here now remove those blocks then put blocks here so that the water won't go here then yeah but remember that you remove water here right you need to fill this in with water let's go down there fill this in with water now you're gonna put blocks here and here and here then you're gonna put a dispenser here facing towards you and facing down now onto the redstone bit you want to go up and clear a space like this so one two three and this is the roof right so you're gonna clear some space essentially you want to see the dispensers then you go here and dig something like this do something like this just gonna dig and dig, 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 dig. then this will be a redstone line so you need to dig this part also yeah right this is what it looks like now so you've got something like this replicate this in your world then what i want you to do is also dig this part <laughs> so this is where you're from then go up and now you're gonna get yourself a note block okay now from there you're gonna put an observer here facing the note block 
then you put a redstone signal i mean redstone line like that then yeah that's it for the first part then here you're gonna put a redstone dust a block a what you call this redstone repeater then a block redstone repeater again a block a redstone dust three redstone repeaters like this a block a torch then a dropper here a i mean a dropper here from here then a hopper here then a redstone comparator here an observer a block redstone line like that and boom it's done now you just want to fill every dropper and dispenser you need to fill on so you're gonna get your water and lava and a block so you're gonna put a block here in the dropper then you're gonna put lava here in the dispenser above then water below lastly you want to go down so let's cover this up then oh no what did i do no what did i do i accidentally updated the <laughs> note block so the observer detected that but it's okay i fix it right away so you just need to put a button here under the node block and if you test it lava then where's the water what happened to the water i forgot to put signs oh my <laughs> so put the signs there and that is everything done except for this you need to mob proof this so that whenever you go here there's no mobs and voila everything is done and dusted lastly you want to open these fence gates and destroy these light sources so that we can actually have the cave spider inside our system now let's test this farm out first we need to wait for them to actually go to the spot okay they're coming and there we go please go up stay up stay up ow stay up please okay good so let's press this button it will dispense the lava and it will dispense the water there we go then they are one hit okay good just a precaution in using this farm the cave spider can actually reach you here so standing here will be the most advisable <laughs> what i'm saying is don't go near too much to the cave spider because they can hurt you here in this part here so if you're gonna afk just stand here or just close yourself like this okay so that is everything that i want to tell you now if you enjoyed the video please press press press, press like and if you really love it make sure to subscribe and thank you guys for watching bye